What's up everybody, Sebastian here, and in this YouTube video, we are going to be talking about how to never run out of things to say, especially when it comes to girls, alright? So have you ever been in a situation where you saw a very, very, very cute girl and you just wanted to go and say hello to her, but you just felt you couldn't and you felt your mind just got blank and you ended up not approaching her, okay? Have you ever been in a situation like that? Or have you been in a situation where you were having a good conversation with a girl but you have this fear of saying this one thing as you're scared it will offend her? Have you ever been in a situation like that? Or another situation could be where you just go out and socialize but you just can't get yourself out of your head because you overanalyze every single thing. If you fall into one of these categories of wanting to know how to never want of things to say and never have an awkward moment again in a conversation, then you stay, you came to the right video. Because this video, we're going to be talking about how to never want our things to say, okay? So, as you know here, this is not some mainstream bullshit, okay? This is the real fucking deal, okay? And you need to implement what I tell you. If you do not take action, you will never change. If you do not take action, you will stay how you are right now with the problem you are, you have right now of constantly wanting other things to say, okay? You need to implement it. Why right after this video, you do exactly what I tell you, okay? You do the exercise I tell you because it's a special exercise I want you to do because if you don't do it, you're gonna remain same, okay? This channel here, here, we are winners, okay? So listen the fuck up. Step number one, okay? Is to lower the ball of what you say, okay? We place the ball so high, we were like, oh, I wanna say this here, is it okay? No. Oh, yes, it's okay. Okay, I can say this here. And you make sure, like, just think about how much mental energy you're taking to, like, always make sure you talk in a polite manner where every single word flows out of your mouth perfectly. You need to eliminate that, okay? Because just imagine, like, just how much energy, like, is wasted in your mind. It's like, you say, oh, you want to say, no, actually, not. oh, oh, yes, I can say it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Just imagine how much you have to filter, okay? So instead of that, okay, you lower that ball, whoops. So it's at that level where it's like, you, you want to be like, where you, when you think about something, you say, it, okay, no filter, okay? And this is an exercise I want you to do, okay? Imagine this is the girl, okay? This is the girl, this is the guy you want to talk to, okay? What I want you to do is talk for the glass for two minutes, okay? So let me give an example. So right now, um, I'm just speaking my mind. I'm recording a video. Wow, this glass is very, very beautiful. I have no idea what to say. It is so awkward. This is like, I have no idea what to say. It's like so awkward. Like, I did it, I'm making a video how to never want out things to say. You just need to speak your mind and whatever thought comes up, you pop in your mind. I'm really in love with this one girl, she's amazing, uh, she has a boyfriend now and basically what happened was um, I wanted to go out with her but um, she got stolen with another guy and then I fell into massive depression because I couldn't um, uh, be with her and also it's just so annoying because like I always miss my chances with girls and um, when I'm with her then, and with her boyfriend then it like becomes very very awkward and I really love uh, flying remote control planes and 
um, driving remote control cars. I'm at the beach now. It's very beautiful. Um, I love school in Brussels. I already went to America. I already went uh, on the biggest roller coaster in the world. I went to Boston, San Francisco, Vegas. I really, really love roller coasters. I love it so much. America is the best country in the world. Luxembourg is so boring. Europe is also very boring. And uh, this is exactly how to talk with a girl and how to never want to have things to say. And this is what gets her attracted to me. And then I did ping, I played ping pong um, for a couple of years. I played on the weekend and it was very, very fun. And um, yeah, I don't know what to say right now. I'm wanting out things to say, but when I tell, when I uh, tell, when I want other things to say, then I don't want to have things to say, you know? And yeah. All right, so this is an example what it looks like when you lower that front, you lower that bar of micromanaging every single word. Okay, fuck that, fuck that, okay? And you will realize, when you do that to girls, girls will be drawn into you, okay? Because girls, they are more like they they get drawn into the guys who just speak their mind and it will give them like an emotional roller coaster. you understand? So do that and just don't be afraid to like be like oh is it okay to search topics now? oh I need to enter the response no fuck that okay just speak your mind okay speak your mind okay and this is an exercise you do you want to do daily okay and you'll see the more you do it the easier it will become okay and the more you'll embrace being awkward the more you'll embrace just speak your mind and your response will be more than the gas okay you'll get more feedback okay so that's another thing to do okay step number two is Realize it's just a fucking conversation, okay? You're not trying to save the world here. You're not trying to <laughs> become president. You're not here on an interview. You're just here, just having, it's just a conversation. So no matter how much people you meet in the evening going out, the just know they already forgot about your existence right after they left. They were like, Oh, I was talking with this. Oh, really nice. Oh, what time is it? I have to go home now. They already forgot about your existence. It's very, very hard to impact people nowadays. Very, very hard. Okay? It's very, very hard to pierce to the other person's reality and make them think about you for long, okay? So realize that, okay? That just a conversation, no matter how much you embarrass yourself during the conversation, you no matter how ashamed you are, etc, etc, etc. They forgot about the conversation they had with you. They forgot about your existence, okay? Hope that woke you up, okay? So that's another thing to realize, okay? And step number three, is to really, really get a deeper connection with others, okay? And never want out of things to say is you want to communicate them on a regular basis, okay? For example, one day of communication, it will fizzle out of existence, okay? When you communicate with that person for every single fucking day, okay? Those little chunks of conversation will add up to a bigger sum of years where one time you are gonna be in their head and they'll be thinking about you, okay? So in order to get that you need to really like Communicate during a long period of time with them and that's where they won't forget about your existence and then it's like You'll be more comfortable 
when you wouldn't have things to say, you understand? Because like they know you better and you get this bond, okay? Also, another thing is you wanna like just don't be afraid to express yourself, okay? D don't always uh, keep it middle surface conversation like, hello, how are you doing? Good, you good, bye. No, fuck that, okay? Be more like, like just express everything, like all of your embarrassing stories, all of your embarrassing emotions, all of your awkward moments, like express everything and that's how to truly connect with the other person and the other person will respect you for that and give that in return, all right? So, I hope you enjoyed my video. Feel free to drop a like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends if you enjoyed. More videos like that coming up in the future and peace out.